So one of my favorite new features of Fab's Auto Backup is that you can take the hard drive out of an old computer, connect it to an adapter, and directly transfer it to a new computer. So I'm going to change the, cam the angle of the camera and we'll show you kind of the steps of Fab's. Sorry that this isn't as good as it normally is with my recording software, but I wanted to not install that on the customer's new computer. So I'll show you how Fabs works real quick. So we've plugged the new hard drive in, but we're gonna go and just launch Fabs here. So with Fabs, you can do a backup. So like if I couldn't take the hard drive out of a computer, I would plug in an external hard drive and back up the data. And then I could restore the data on the new computer. Or in this case, the new feature of Fab 6, which I really, really like, is the transfer data. So we'll go ahead and click transfer data. So here it has a couple of options. You select the source drive and then the Windows directory the source profile and then it allows you to cho or choose the target profile so the source is our attached drive and it should auto detect the windows directory and then we'll be able to select the original profile and now we'll be able to select the new profile so it's showing us that it's going to take CB Rampton and move it to Clark which is the profile name of this new computer. So then we'll click Next. And then here, it's the same settings that you always have in Fabs. It just lets you pick what you do want to transfer. So it'll transfer all of your settings, your Chrome profiles, your Outlook files, pretty much everything you need. I absolutely love Fabs Auto Backup. If you don't have it, it is worth the money in its weight in gold. Um, and we actually will have a coupon code that we were able to contact them directly and they provided a coupon code exclusively for you guys to get a significant discount off of your order. So we'll go ahead and click next. This is all the public data. I usually just leave it. Uh, for me, I do a lot of editing, so all the font files, that's always convenient for when I'm upgrading my computer. Um, and now they've added that it does Steam profile, so if you've got Steam users, then it's super helpful that way. And then extra stuff, that's like if you had someone that stores stuff on their C drive or somewhere that's not a standard Windows location, and then files that you could exclude if you wanted to. So then we just click Next. It shows us everything, allows us to pick if we want it to do something when it's done, and then just launch. It'll take a minute to find all of the files and transfer everything. Depending on the size of the data, it could take a few minutes or it could take a few hours. Um, but like I said, it is worth its weight in gold. Check out my other reviews on Fabs Auto Backup in the description of how to use it. And thanks for watching. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you have questions on how to do something on your computer, Leave a comment down below or hit me up at trenchtech.co. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video.